Take up your wheel to picture that you and I engage in a kiss. The sweat on your body covers me. Can you, my daughter? Can you picture this? Dream? But um, mm. Mm. it's not the first time that uh, we've known pigeons mm. uh, to be drugged. Drugged. Um, with ste- yeah, with steroids. Yeah. God, I mean, is so, there money in it or something? Is very, that why? Very competitive. Why would you put? I mean, what's a, what does a pigeon on steroids look like? Yeah. A, a golden, <laughs> a golden eagle. <laughs> I've, never, I've never seen one, unfortunately. But right. um, yeah. fortunately, should I say? But uh, but I mean, there's there's a race that's in South Africa where you buy into the race, and there's it's yeah. like a, there's uh, thousands of pigeons, and you buy it into the race. Yeah. So they all come out of one loft. Yes. And I believe that the prize money is a million pounds. A million wow. quid? So, wow. yeah, we should get into it, Porky. We should get into million, it. Not we, no A million you. dollar race. Yeah. 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 Blimey. And That's are the, amazing. Are the drug testing facilities for these sort of races? No. Well, that, well, it shouldn't have been. I mean, if you've got all these pigeons psyched up on, uh, you know, on Benelin and all that kind of stuff, you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't they give them Benelin. What do they give them? Well, Benelin's like, it's a sort of got morphine in it, isn't it? Yeah, well, it's, I was... You, know, you, know, you, want them, you, want them, you want them hopped up, don't you? Yeah, that's right. You want to give them something to kind of get them going. Listen Ooh. to Mr. Holker, uh, mm. who's in Manchester. Mr. Holker, very good uh, morning to you. Morning. Yeah, what have you got to tell us about pigeons, man? Pigeon racing is a very, very big sport yeah. in Europe is it? and all around the world. Really? I mean, if you are yeah. a pigeon racing a, f- a man, how much mm. money can you look to make on a give- any given year? Mm. Um, I, we've spent three and a half grand on one pigeon. Three and a half grand? That's nothing. That's nothing in the pigeon sport. Right. That's nothing. Yeah. Honestly, mate. But what sort of prize can... money? What sort of prize money would a three and a half uh, grand bird pick up for you? What sort of money? This yeah. guy who's been so-called caught cheating yeah. won two nationals last year and he won a motor car. He won a motor car for a running the car. national? That's not bad. What sort of motor car? Uh, I'm not quite sure what it was, but me and my brother won yeah. a national in 1997 yeah. and we also won a motor car. You won a motor what kind car? car? What kind of car yeah. did you get, uh, Mr. Holker? Uh, a Fiat Punto. A oh, Fiat Punto. Punto. Tremendous. Yeah, <laughs> I love That's it. great. Yeah, no, yeah, that is fantastic, yeah. honestly. So, so, <laughs> cle- so clearly... What? What about this business of the pigeons not being able to listen to anybody but the man that owns them? I mean, Porky's reckoning here yeah. that the, these, these well, pigeons might have to be gassed. Listen, there is drug testing that goes on in pigeon racing. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, pigeons do get drug tested. Right. So what, do you, they select a pigeon and they say, right, bring your pigeon into random, the drug testing. Random drug, drug testing, testing for pigeons. Laboratory, yeah, I see. Mm. Yeah, well, I, I no. didn't... Go on. What they do, they have a committee who go round, they take the pigeon droppings and they take blood samples as well. What? How do they know which one's the done The committee? It? How do they know which one's done the droppings, though? Mm. Well, because they'll put it in a box and wait till it does a dropping. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, I see. Ah, there yeah, you go. Yeah, see, I see, they're yeah. quite clever. Yeah, that, that's Mr. Holger, clever. fascinating stuff. Thank you yeah, very much thank indeed. Thank you very much indeed. Amazing, yeah. isn't it? It what is amazing. What amazing a world. world. We've, what a world. We, we've opened a right uh, can of worms here. Can of worms, yeah. I don't suppose they eat worms, do they? Pigeons are probably yeah, too sophisticated. No, what do they eat? Uh, the pigeon feed. You know, pigeon feed. You know, like you see. I've never seen that sold anywhere. No, you know, like you see a horse with a horse bag on its face. A horse Pige- bag. Pigeons have pigeon feed. <laughs> to mean a nose bag. A nose bag. That's <laughs> right. Yes, yeah, that's right. Nose bag. Yeah. Well, it's the same thing, isn't it? Yeah. Well, not quite. Yeah, no. Yeah. Uh, I mean, well, you know, what a ruthless world. The yeah, world of pigeon uh, fencing is. Absolutely extraordinary stuff. I'm glad I'm not in it. Glad I'm glad I'm Tell it. us any more about pigeons. By all means, give us a ring. Oh eight seven one seven double two double three double four. That's right. Now remember, please. This is the two mics. We are standing in. No, actually, we're we're sitting in or filling in. Sitting in. Yeah. In for Colin you know, in Scotland, that means yeah. you're actually sitting in as opposed to taking away in what? a restaurant. What do you mean? Oh, say, I see. Yeah, that's in? right. Yeah. Well, that's when I first time I went to Northern Ireland. Somebody said, "Do you want this as a carry out?" Yeah. What's he talking about? But it yeah. was an off license, and yeah. they said, you, "Of course, you, it was an off license." Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Right. Uh, so we're the two mics. Okay. We're filling in for Colin Murray on. Can you, my daughter, can you picture this 